Okay, so Tom, congratulations. You're now the um, second assistant coach with Hodge Karai. And it seems like, you know, you've developed a relationship, you know, at least when we last spoke, you know, good friendship with Koch and you guys work together with, you know, some incredible coaches like Ron Lawson, Hugh McCutcheon, uh, who's the, the lady, I always forget her name, like Paul Weiss. Paul Weiss, and have come up with this concept and really, you know, it's been this like mastermind, you know, that's the best way for me to describe it, where, you know, and, you know I, I, maybe I'm, maybe Koch is the main master in it, but, you know, where you guys come together and you talk about this idea of reading the game, and, when I saw um, Koch at the ABCA convention, he definitely mentioned you and Ron Lawson about the value you guys have added to developing this. So tell me a little bit about the reading the game, you know, your thoughts, what are you guys trying to accomplish, blah, blah, blah. You know, if, let's say somebody hasn't heard it, they're a high school coach or like a club coach and they're getting back into coaching. Tell us the details so we like, you know, lean it. But we, we, we definitely did not invent the concept of reading the game. No, I, I understand. You guys didn't invent it. I, I definitely agree. But you've definitely, as a group, have led something where it's a, it's a change in thought. Yeah. Well, one thing we're trying to, I mean, nobody read the game better than Karch, right? That's why Without a doubt. You know, Al Skates would let him play defense right. anywhere he went. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'll go down on video. <laughs> so that's why he's the best. Um, and one thing... Um, and we're always trying to teach eyes, and you know I think when you look at you look at a lot of good coaches, and you hear in their gym like, "What did you see? What did you see?" You know, and they're really trying to force their uh, players to process. Um, so one thing, one question we're asking is like, can we, uh, for example, when you go into a lot of gyms, and maybe different coaches teach passing differently, but almost every coach has like, "Okay, I teach these four things for passing, even if they're different." But when you go into eye work, how do you teach, how do you look at that? It's kind of scattershot. You know, it's just, I just, I ask what they're seeing and, um, and then we just kind of talk about it and then we go to the next play and we were wondering, like, can we organize visual keys the way we organize physical keys? So that's just what we've been working on. And, uh, we, it's, um, it's a on again, off again process. But, you know, when we look at, uh, when we talk to our blockers, when we talk to our defenders, can we do it on offense? Or is there like a checklist of things we can look at that will help us make decisions faster? So uh, we're just trying to organize. Is there a way to organize uh, how to read the game in a way that speeds up the learning process? And that's great. And some of the drills that you guys are doing are doing that. So in terms of some of the verbal cues you're asking, some of the things you're saying, some of the things we shot today, you're starting to see that. Everything, for example, defense and where they're looking in terms of right. the, the focal point and right. what, what did you describe it, the area with all, uh, uh, information rich areas. Information rich areas, I like yeah. that, that, that cue. Um, yeah, and in the end, you're, basically, you're talking about pattern recognition. So like if you're, if you're good at anything, you can see the pattern of it faster than anyone else and you can get way more information out of it. So again, if there's, just, if there's a few simple questions we can ask or, or cues we can use that help develop that pattern faster. That's kind of what we're trying to accomplish. If you guys, you know, and this is tough, maybe you have or haven't, have you guys come up with anything that has speeded up the pattern recognition? Um, you know, we're, uh, I hope so, but we, you know, we still have to keep studying it. And then when, once you have the cues, then you kind of have to see if it works. Like, is, are you, are you uh, producing that skill better than you were a month ago? So we haven't gotten that, to that yet. Mm -hmm. you know? Interesting. Um, one thing we're actually trying to do right now is, um, trying to come up with some stuff that can help increase the visual part. Mm -hmm. you know, so we feel like there's a lot of stuff around the patterns, but there's some visual stuff that happened too. So we're actually at volleyball one-on-one -on -one and trying to come up with some stuff around that right now, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, so yeah. I'll make sure I shoot. Thanks. <laughs> okay, so um, see more videos by Tom Black. Uh, visit volleyballoneonone.com.